Hello everyone. Welcome back to the next session of SAP Security. In this session also based on a practical scenario that we are going to create a 4i principle and an 8i principle for user administration. First is 4i principle. User administration is one task that means creating and assigning role is called user administration. What are we trying to do using this 4i principle that we are going to split the activity of user administration into two for security reason. Security breach in the user administration is that one user administration if let's assume that I am a user administration of a company that I want to do some some fraud for example so I can create a user in somebody's name and then can assign all the roles which is required and use that user and create a transaction and transfer the money to my account maybe or some some friends account I can delete that account then I will leave so it will be very difficult to find out what is the user ID which has been used and once you find out what the audit team came and start finding out what has happened by the time we left the company this can be prevented by using 4i principle that means the process of user administration we will involve two different users so in our case what are we trying to do David is an user that he can create and maintain user and Peter is an another user who will assign role this is our concept so we are going to create two different roles for these two users and we will segregate these two activities for this user okay let's create the first role pfcg my first role name in z underscore bc underscore 999 underscore maintain user user administrator create user yes I would like to save this in this exercise what I am going to do I am not going to use menu I am going to use only authorization so go, I will go to authorization and go to change data no so I am going to add manually all the objects which is required for my activity the first authorization object what I need is s underscore t code under s yes underscore t code that the transaction code which I need is su01 so added only su01 now we need to add all rated authorization object for su01 how do we find what all the authorization object which is required for su01 using su24 so let's keep it side by side I go to SU 20 24 put in this transaction code SU 
here I got all the authorization object which is required for SU24. Okay, so we need to select what is yes here. What is marked as yes? So these are all the main authorization objects which we require. Yeah. This is related for user, central user administration, which we don't we don't use it. This is only for specific system specific assignment, which we need don't use it. We will use the profile, and we will use the user group. We will use the authorization. We'll use this one. So one, two, three, four, only four objects. These are all optionals and this will not be used but this will be used only in specific conditions. In our case we will not use this. So I will add, add all this authorization object. So I let's say before adding I want to know what are all the fields which is required, all fields values which is required. So I select this authorization object and say field values. Then it says activity group and activity 03. That's what is required. Yeah, this is for role check. So if let's say if I assign this SU01 from menu, then this is the authorization object with this activity 3. This should have got added. Okay. I'm going to add this authorization object. We can add multiple authorization object in the same time. Let me go one by one. That's more easy. So what do we need is activity 03. This is only for role check. And the role name. We assign all roles. Okay, the next authorization object is maintain authorization. Okay, this one we need activity 03 and 08. Let me go manually put this one here. So, what I need is activity 03 and 08 display change document. This is only display. This is for maintain authorization okay so say okay this is we can still restrict by this we can still restrict restrict by authorization name in user master authorization object I'll put a star the next one authorization user group here I need quite a couple of things. This is user master maintenance in user group. Here we can restrict by we have an organizational value which we can restrict by user group. In our case we say all. All user group can do whatever they want. But activity what we can do this is right now what we are creating is to create user so create it can change display lock unlock can also delete the user can display the change document enter include assign that we will not assign this one now because this is for role assignment so only we will say one from 0 to 8 then save okay now let's go to the next authorization object this is for authorization profile Profile name, 
we will say all profile activity what we need is 0, 3 and 0, 8 only f display authorization okay we assign all and this is system specific and the next one is central user administration we said we assume that we don't want that okay now I will save this and generate so that it generate the profile now let's assign the role what we have created to the user Davis let's say it's u01 create a user Davis create Davis the function is user admin Okay, log on data I'll put some initial password for time being I will assign the user to the user group super put a valid date then I will assign the role which we have created to this user set underscore BC 999 maintain user admin set underscore BC 999 star F4 sorry 999 star and this is a user this is the role ok and I will also assign one more role to this user so that we can also check some kind of SU53 and like this I created an another role a general role is set security CA general okay now I am going to log in with this user Davis Davis initial password so we need to change the password ok I will use SAP menu the menu which we are getting is basically from the second role which we have assigned to this user otherwise it does not have any menu Okay, now I will go to SU01 create user is set security test 01 going to create this user so create just creating let's say test user for 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 I principle. Okay, log on data, put some password. We'll assign to super group. The thing seems to be fine. Can save this user. It's fine. So right now what I the user I am trying to create from the user Davis. Now let's try to assign some roles to role and the role which we assigned is this general role we say you are not authorized to assign roles okay so we can create user now we cannot assign roles okay so we can create user you can come back and change this user the principle 
for security train okay change something I go back here again I change the validity of this user you can do whatever you want we cannot assign roles you are not author authorized to assign roles so this is a way we can restrict the user admin not to assign roles let's go back to our presentation now we need to create a role for assigning role so let's create that role cannot see the role name use like this okay slash n pfcg now why the logged in user is davis does not have authorization for pfcg so i have to exit from here i will go to the actual user the security trainer here i will create the role pfcg is set security then maintain role admin okay now I now I'm going to create the second role this is for user admin is admin role assignment want to save yes I will do use the same method instead of using the menu I will use the manual method of assigning the role what happens is if I if I assign from the menu then I will get lot of other objects that is the reason I don't want to do this I wanted to be precise with the authorization object let's let's show you how does it looks like when you assign it using SU01 okay go to authorization change say yes now if you see that you have lot of authorization which is not necessary for this for this purpose at this moment yeah if you are going to address field and trying to change something then you need all this authorization object but for us it's a pure user administration task either if you if you use menu then you need to disable all this authorization objects okay let's let's do it like this I will deactivate I don't need this I don't need this I don't need this yes underscore I need this one is not required and this is again related to CEA system specific assignment also we don't need okay let's see this one user group we will uh, we will give authorization to all user group okay so we have four objects which is valid object first one is for this role check this is fine 03 this also this is for user master maintenance for authorization that means for authorization maintenance 03 then here user group here we do not have a sign so what we will do is we will create change lock delete we will remove and we will 
you include a sign okay and we also have 78 which is also a sign so so the use s underscore user underscore grp we said display display change lock enter include assign archive and assign save others everything is display so that means it should allow the user to add role but it will not allow to create or change or lock users okay save so this is disabled this is fully disabled the only active authorization is only this four and thus everything else is three this is activity 3 this also activity 3 and 8 so only available is yes underscore user group so I will save this create a profile and generate now let's create the next user the next user name is Peter let's use 01 E T E R Peter. Peter User Admin. Roll a sign. Okay, I'll put an initial password. some validity it's actually we can leave it blank but in a best practice scenario always keep a validity of any user now what we will do is we will assign this role the role which we have created role ADM it says it's not there admin okay then assign the general role for su53 if in case okay now let's log in with the user which we have created peter Okay, the user maintenance which also came into our menu so let's try to assign some role to the user which we have created su01 this is the user which we have created let's go to change mode oh we have a problem you are not authorized to change the use users in this group super something gone wrong with our role development we did something wrong so I don't know then let's find out what was wrong to check the authorization error we use the transaction code called SU53 this is the main transaction to check any authorization error first thing SU53 so we have we got an error how do we find the error you type slash n SU53 then it tells you what is the authorization object which is missing this is yes underscore user group 02 
So we did a mistake in our role. We did not assign 0 to. If you wanted to assign a role to user, you need to go to the change mode. So until unless you go to the change mode, then you cannot assign the role. So the 0 to we did not assign. So we our role development had little conceptual problem. So let's go to the role. Change, go to authorization, go to change data. So this is our main object. Let's go and change. Okay. So without change authorization, you cannot change the user. So it's not possible to assign. So right now we assign the additional authorization. In a best case scenario, the user has to log off and log in. But after ECC, that is not required. It will, the user buffer will get refreshed automatically after once the authorization objects are changed or assigned or new new authorizations are assigned or removed. Otherwise, we can also use slash n just to refresh the buffer. Okay, let's me go to SU01 now. SU01, go to the user, go to change. Now it's working. So right now I am in the user beta. Okay, this user was created last changed by Davis. Go to role, let me assign a role. You are not authorized to assign role. Still seems to be some problem. Let me see what is the what is missing now. SU fifty three. Okay, we we missed this one. We just put only display authorization to assign the role. Of course, you need to, to have role assignment authorization. So what we will do, we will go back again, go to this role, change authorization. Change. Okay sign do we is this authorization enough I don't know let's check it again go to su01 go to the same user go to the role still it says you are not authorized now what is missing Oops, we did something wrong. We assigned in this user master maintenance authorization. We did not assign in the role check. So what we need to do, we need to assign it here. And we also need this assign authorization. And delete role. display change document nope we don't need assign role to composite role okay now we save okay now let's go to su01 again change role user master incomplete and see the long text let's let's see the long text it says user master comparison incomplete if you see then you have you have to perform a user master comparison with transaction b f b f u p meaning if you are seen in the pfcg after we assign the role we have to run the user master comparison that means 
once we do that that time only it will assign the profiles now it says that we cannot do some user master comparison in that case we have authorization to assign the role but we do not have authorization to assign the profiles so that is the that is the message that is the error let's go and check yeah exactly we did not we it did not assign the profiles so there is something is missing now let's find out what is the authorization object which is for profile and this is for profile then you say it's a user master maintenance authorization profile let's click this and we and here we have to include this 22 include assignments so we we don't select this create and change because it can do a change in pfcg we just wanted to use it for assignment let's go to su01 again go to this user role let's try to assign it now it assign the profile to the user yeah so when you are assigning this role you also need the profile assignment authorization for the user master otherwise it doesn't work okay now we any we created this role let's do a negative check for example this user Peter should not create a user so let me put it 0 2 and say create user you are not authorized to create user so right now if they somebody need to have a user in the system then we have two user admin Davis has to create and Peter has to assign the role this is the way we can control the user administration using 4i principle once we have implemented this concept now I have an another problem let's say I am the user who can assign the roles so what happens if I assign some roles to myself and do some big transaction and take some money out from the company then it's a risk again so how do we control that so we need to control that I cannot assign the role for myself and under the assumption that I am the Peter I am the user role Peter the user Peter should not assign role for himself that is our next objective same like that the user David should not change any user master record for for own or locking unlocking user of their own user IDs so we need to have a different concept in order to overcome this problem of administration of own users how can we do that we have an another concept called 8a principle or forehead principle so our main goal is to do user administration then we have a set of people who can create users so you add additional people that means 4 8 i principle means you need 4 head you need 1 2 3 4 4 people so you have 2 users who will do user admin maintenance and you have 2 users who will do role administration so we totally had eight eyes now then what we do one of the user from user administration group that means user creation and maintenance group will belong to one user group for this user this user will maintain the users belongs to this group and this user will maintain the user belong to this group okay this user can change the user master data or create 
or maybe create users in this user administration group and this user can create and administrate the users in this group then we have the role administration group this user who can assign role for this user administration group this user can assign role for this user administration group however this user cannot assign role for themselves and this user cannot assign role for themselves and user administration this user administrator group cannot do role maintenance this role maintenance user cannot do user administration so this is 4i principle so what we are trying before what what it was that this this was one person who can do the user administration this was one user or person who can do user administration now we divided this into two so that we can classify that a segregation of duty between these two users that they cannot maintain their own users so we need what we need to do is in this case the role which we have created for user administration and role maintenance we need to further narrow down the authorization within these roles as well as we need to identify this user in a different group of people as different group of people okay so what we do is we will create a user group called user admin 1 and we will assign alin and melisa on this group that means one group of user administrators like same like before one who can maintain user one who can assign roles and we have another group of user administration in a different called user admin 2 one user can create user one you can user can assign role but we have a separation between these two however even though these two users are doing the same activity we have a separation based on the user group let's see how we can do this let's go to our system this is peter user let me exit from here first what we need to do is we need to create user group we already know how to create user group let's see this is my user yes security trainer let me go to create an user group go to su01 go here maintain user so i will create user group uadm01 u underscore ad M01 underscore 01 say create user admin group 01 then I have the second group user admin group 02 say user admin Then we have Davis and Peter who is already in user group super. We can change them now. Otherwise, let's create the roles first. Yeah, the user admin one and role admin one. We already have the roles which we have developed for our previous scenario for the 4i principle. Let's use the same role so that we don't need to redo the same thing again. Let's user administration. I will copy. The new role name is z underscore bc999 main user adm underscore 01. Right now what we are trying to do, we are going to create a user for 
we are trying to create a role for Aline. I will say I will not say copy all here. The reason is if I say copy all it will also copy the users. So I will say copy selections. So user assignment I don't want to copy. Personalization anyway we don't have it. We can just leave it like that. If I say copy all it will also copy the user assignment to the new role which I don't want to do. Okay. So I'll go to the change mode go to authorization data this is user administrator who will do create user group 01 okay to change now let's see we need to separate this two roles based on the user admin group okay right now we are creating the role for admin 01 who can access the group u underscore adm 02 so I will go to the object this is the user group right now it has star right so what I will do I need to restrict only user ADM01 yeah, meaning it can administrate all the user except their own user group to do that we say 0 2 our user group name is u underscore ADM underscore zero one so I will go zero zero then from here I will say zero two to Z star so this is the possible scenario here we avoided the user group zero one this is one way to do this is the best way to do Otherwise, you can explicitly specify what all the user group they can administrate. Then they can administrate only that group. But if you have a lot of groups, you are in a development stage, you don't know what is the user group you are going to create, then this is the best way to do. Use the range to limit the user group which you don't want to assign to this user. So we, we don't want to assign to this user this u underscore adm01. So from here, that means whatever user group start with 0 till u adm underscore 0 0 it can administrate then 0 1 is not assigned from 0 2 to z star that means further whatever you write everything it can administrate so let me save this save and generate same like this I will also create one role for the next group yes. something wrong ok everything fine let me copy this same one to 2 copy selection ok change authorization change data then let me go to the same object again make a restriction here user group here we need to restrict only 0 2 so till 0 1 it's fine from 0 3 sorry 0 3 it should start from here that means 0 2 we cannot maintain save create a profile and generate fine now user admin we created let's test this roles what we have created 
we have a user already called Davis OTSU01 Davis go to change option first first thing is we need to assign Davis in to user ADM underscore zero two this is the new user group he belongs to based on our new authorization concept and we need to change his role so this is a old concept we don't use this role anymore then we will use the new role this is the new role he will get sorry this is not the one he will get the 0 2 because he belongs to the 0 2 group then we will create the next user Alin Alin is also user admin create user not role assignment only user admin then log on data put an initial password the user group is u underscore admin 0 1 I'll put some validity then I will assign the role the role which I should assign he here is 0 1 and I will also assign this general role ok save come back let's log in with this user Alin Okay. Now SU01. I didn't want to create a user and she belongs to the user group 01. So let's say she tries to create a user in user group 01. Is set security test 03 we're going to create a user test user for 8i logon data say user administrator 01 it says initial password you are not authorized to create user in user group 01 so can we create in 02 yes let's see 02 is fine we can create in 02 can we assign roles of course should not be you are not authorized to assign role so we can create in 02 Alin can create user in 02 but cannot create in 0 1 you can create except 0 1 you can do everything all other group let's say super this also fine we can create and save yeah go to go here and change to 0 1 no okay so let's say wanted to change one user group Alin's user group. Okay, this is my own. I cannot change it. Alin cannot change her own user. But if she wanted to change Davis user, for example, Davis, 
so you can change because Davis belongs to the user group 0 2 so this protects that she cannot she does not change to a different user group and do something else no we cannot do that yeah one user group and one user we cannot change it if you log in as Davis it should be the same situation let me log off from here log in as Davis SU01 can I change Alin's user yes I can change can I change my own user I cannot change okay this is the way we can protect let's now go to our next role role assignment let me log off let me go to my user training user let's create the next role pfcg for role assignment this is our role which we have created for our 4i principle let's copy this role some error let's fix it ok adm01 then copy selection personalization ok here what we need to do we need to only change the user group here is the user group instead of star they can from 0 to zero, 0 because this belongs to zero, 01 then it should not be zero, 01 then zero, 02 to z star okay this is first role so this which restrict role assignment from this group which restrict role assignment only to the user group 0 1 that means Melissa who belongs to the user group 0 1 cannot do role assignment one for herself or somebody who is in her team save and generate we'll copy the same role into 0 2 go to change mode my user group is here here what I need to do I need to restrict only 0 2 so till 0 1 then only the 0 2 is restricted ok now we have two different roles for two different groups now let's take our old user Peter let's use 0 1 Peter we will assign him to the new user group based on the concept go to the role we remove the old role we will assign him a new role called role ADM 02 this is his new role save and we need to create a new user called Melissa Melissa
initial password. So Melissa's user group is UADM01. So we'll assign Melissa to 01, put some validity, then the roles. So Melissa will have user admin 01, and we'll always assign the general role also. Okay, now let me log in as Melissa first. Melissa. Okay, let's change the password. right now I logged in as Melissa so I wanted to change my own role as you 01 this is my user ID I go to change mode so I cannot change my user let's try to change some user which we have created before security student 04 let me go to change this I can go and change I can assign some more authorization which is fine I can administrate others I can also administrate Peter maybe let me check Peter Peter I can go and change the role for Peter it works fine okay now if I log in as Peter SU01 Peter he is trying to change his own user which he cannot do but he can go to change Melissa's user he can go and change he can assign roles I made it clear using this 4i principle you separate four users into two different group with two different function in each group so we made it exactly four they have a they, this is one user user group but this user have a different function and different function which is restricted based on authorization we have an another user group which is for dif uh, different two different user administration function which is based on authorization and this group and this group is differentiated based on user group so this is a type principle so we took this as an example to understand the whole concept and to find some errors as well as how do we fix it so that this is the best scenario that to to understand the authorization concept better because we already know this specific function of user administration in detail. With this I'm coming to the end of this session. Thank you very much for listening. I will see you in the next session. Bye-bye.